What up, family? It's your boy Street News TV back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Odie Perry. Now, Odie Perry comes from uh, that Parkway Gardens neighborhood, which was actually Wick City when he was alive. Then after he died, it was renamed O Block in honor of him. Um, one fun fact about O Block is that uh, Michelle Obama is actually from there. I thought that was very interesting because I actually didn't know that, which I should have known that. But, um, yeah, O Block are BDs now. I'm not sure if Odie was a BD because we understand that in 2010, 2011, 2012, that era right there, for some reason, you had a lot of GDs that flipped BDs. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not going to say he was a BD. Do I believe he was a BD? Yes. I'm pretty sure that he was a BD. But um, O Block was made famous by pretty much by Chief Keef, uh, you know, through the music. You know, Chief Keef always would yell out uh, O Block and, you know what I'm saying, uh, 300 and things of that nature. Oh, uh, by the way, yeah, O Block is on uh, 64th and King Drive. But, yeah, O Block was made famous by Chief Keef. And, you know, that pretty much um, trickled down. You know, people pretty much started looking into Old Block. And, you know, this is where, you you know, get your characters like uh, Boss Top and your King Vines and, you know what I'm saying, your A-Skis and your uh, Dukes, E-Dogs. And, you know what I'm saying? So, Old Block is um, pretty much, Old Block is pretty much kind of like the um, the most talked about little area in Chicago. And I think, you know, that's definitely why. Because of Chief Keith, and not only that, um, of course we know that they be for STL. You know what I'm saying? STL is pretty much like their main ops. Now, um, dealing with Odie's, you know what I'm saying? How he was, I found a lot of pictures of Odie, and Odie kind of struck me as a, you know, as a ladies' man. You know what I'm saying? He was always taking pictures with females. You see what I'm saying? I definitely heard that Odie um, got out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't hear about him having a body, but I heard that he shot at a lot of people. One of those people actually being Mob Scrap, who we'll talk about a little bit later on in the um, in the video. Okay, so um, yeah, Odie was a very well loved member. He was a very well loved member. He was cool with um, all of the guys from O Block that you know that are. Uh, that are either either dead or alive. Um, and that goes for um, King Vine. Him and King Vine was, you know what I'm saying, they were good friends. You know, Lil Reese, guys, you know what I'm saying, all these all these public figures, Chief Keith, you know what I'm saying, all of these guys were pretty much cool with Odie. Um, I think that the most controversial thing about Odie, and it's sad to say, is his death. Um, why is his death the most controversial thing? Well, one of the most controversial things, well, I think because of the fact that um, his death is actually was actually um, claimed by a couple of different sets. You had um, STL, you know, KI, she pretty much, you know, put it out there that, you know what I'm saying, this was her work or whatever. You also had uh, M.O.B. Scrap when he was alive, you know what I'm saying, insinuating that he had something to do with it. Also, uh, 051 Driller, he made a post and just straight out came and said that, you know, we did it and, you know what I'm saying, uh, we put your mans on a poster, basically like that. Now, um, there was something that was very interesting that Ruger, which is M.O.B. Scrap's brother, said in a song. He said, uh, niggas talk that shit, but they don't even know who made the O. Now, the reason why that that you know that bar right there kind of hit me because it's like everyone knows who made the O. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it's like the police, um, the streets, the internet, you know, hell, YouTube, like everybody knows, you know what I'm saying, who supposedly had been the one that that, you know, killed Odie. You know, why was this such widespread and, you know what I'm saying, why did a lot of people think that 
K.I. killed Odie is because K.I. was the one that popped up with Odie's gun. Odie had a um like a sterling silver, you know what I'm saying, 44. And K.I. is the one that um ended up with that gun. She was actually taking pictures with it. Actually, Odie has a picture with the gun. You see what I'm saying? But um it was crazy because I found um I found a couple um a couple posts by a girl that goes by the name of Booby. And I don't necessarily know um her and KI's relationship, but um she definitely seemed like she was close to KI at one point in time. And it kind of seemed like that she had something against KI when she was making these posts. Because she said um she was saying how her and KI was on the hit or she went on the hit with KI and KI you know what I'm saying? Didn't want to kill shit. K.I. was just shooting in the air. Then she also said that, uh, you know, K.I. was pretty much claiming bodies that, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't hers. And um, also, there was a stint to where um, M.O.B. scrapped and K.I. had got into it. And K.I. said that, um, I mean, Scrap said that, um, he said, you probably never seen a dead body before. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's rumored to be three people on that hit. He was actually killed on uh, Tuka's birthday, which is another reason why I feel like STL, you know what I'm saying, did it. Is You know, he was killed on Tuka's birthday, which was August 10th. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, like I said, um, it was supposed to be rumored that three people was on the hit, one being K.I., the other being MOB Scrap, and the other one, you know what I'm saying, we all know, but, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty sure that you can pretty much probably inbox this dude right here, and he'll tell you whether he was on the hit or not, because he, he, you know, he do a lot of self-snitching on himself anyway, but, um, um, you know, KI was thought to have a twin, actually it came out that, uh, KI and this dude is not really, you know what I'm saying, they're not really twins, they're not even brother and sister, but they did look alike, you see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it was supposed to be these three on the head and K.I. was supposed to have shot Odie in the neck and then took the gun. You see what I'm saying? Um, I actually it was it's actually crazy because. Um, this is what supposedly has sparked um, that STL and O Block beef. This is what actually, you know, got that beef. You know what I'm saying? Cracking like that. O Block was not the one that was responsible for killing Tuka. You see what I'm saying? And um, it was actually said that there was a video that was made by FBG Duck. I forget the name of the video. I'm going to uh, go back and try to find this video. But this video was actually shot on the same day that um, Odie died. So, um, of course, KI is in the video. So it said that after this, sometime after this video, um, don't quote me on this, but I'm thinking it was like nine o'clock after this video. Um, you know, they pretty much suited up and went and got Odie. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, who knows? Now, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of tweets out there. You know, K.I., she tweeted heavily. She tweeted heavily about this. You know what I'm saying? She definitely spoke on it. In it, you know, she was the, actually the main suspect in it. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, no one, you know, she she never got caught for the shit. You see what I'm saying? And I, I find this crazy because she got on the Internet and talked about it so much. And then not only her, you know, I heard Wooski talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, that verse from Scrap, which was years later, actually. Um, but even, you know, back then. It, it was it was so much self snitching going on back in like 2012, 2013, 2011, and it was so much self snitching going on that you would have thought like murder was like legal because all of these guys would just get on the internet and just you know pretty much tell on they self and um, tell on their partners that supposed to have dead hits and some of them would even go as far as to claim bodies that they didn't even do. You see what I'm saying? So you know. This is when, you know, like I said, that, that spotlight was, was cracking. Um, you know, the spotlight was being shined on Chicago as far as music. And, you know, the drill scene was cracking. And it was all about, like, 
How many ops could I kill and get on the track and talk about and tell the world that I killed them? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was crazy like that, man. But um, I do believe that um, I do believe that Ki is the one who did it. Um, I believe that uh, Mob Scrap was definitely on that hit with her. He was probably driving, and if he did do it, um, he either gave her the gun or sold her the gun. Um, I believe that this is the reason why Ki was targeted, which uh, this hit was actually talked about in a song as well. Um, you know, she gave away her location and uh, she was actually killed um, in 2014, um, like two days after Blood Money, which she was implicated on that hit, too. So um, she was killed by um, a guy by the name of Big A. That was from O Block in Revenge for uh, Odie and a lot of more, a lot of other shit that she did because she stayed shooting at him. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, how do I know that Big A was the one that killed KI? Well, actually, after he did the hit, he named himself, he renamed himself Aski. You know what I'm saying? But if you break it down, it's Ask KI. Like, Ask KI. Yeah, I don't, I'm the one did that shit too. If you think I'm not about what I'm saying I am about, then, um, you know, just ask K.I. And then something that I found odd, too, you know, he was definitely self-snitching big time because um, he took it a step farther. And um, he implicated himself very heavily on that Zach TV interview that Zach TV did. And um, I think it was a, I think it was around like 2015. Don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking it was around 2015. But anyway, he pretty much wanted everybody to know that he killed K.I., he picked up a bud and he was like, you know, this is K.I. or whatever. And, and, you know, it was just specifically, you know, about K.I. You see what I'm saying? Not only that, like I said, that, you know, um, he renamed himself as K.I. And not only that, you know, his death, you know, was basically revenge for the death of K.I. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, this person did that or that person did that. But we all know who did that. You know what I'm saying? K.I.'s brother is the one who um, allegedly did that. So it's like, you know, did K.I. do it or, you know what I'm saying, did Scrap do it or, you know what I'm saying? You know, who knows? But one thing that I do know is that STL ended up going to war. STL ended up going to war with O Block and also... Um, Odie was killed on Tuka's birthday. So, coincidence or, you know, did she really do it? Not even a question to a guy like me, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, I knew this video wasn't going to be long because um, I didn't have a whole lot of information on Odie. Um... So, you know, his this video was actually one of the most requested videos, so I had to do it. But, um, yep, that's pretty much it, man. That's what I got for y'all. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and y'all make sure y'all subscribe. We're going to keep these Chirac Street Legends rolling. We're going to keep this channel, man, with integrity and honor, man. We're going to try to get this motherfucking channel all the way up to a million subs.